we're on. Okay. Do you guys know what this camera is? Which you should, because I can't waste my time explaining it to you. It's a broadcast quality. It is not high definition. The HD on this thing does not mean high definition. Oh my god. Seeing guys listing these on eBay as high definition cameras. HD stands for heavy duty. But it's a pretty good camera. It's okay. Now I specifically engineered this for my purpose. So if you're a guy who's looking for a tool, when you look at this and you see some things, you're going to be interested in what I've done to this sucker. The lens itself has got a remote zoom to it that's running through the, eth the wide Ethernet back box on the back of the pan and tilt base. And it's all it takes is that Ethernet cable over to the little remote controller that I built. So the zoom is controlled, the pan and tilt is controlled, and I have a video output. You can see the red cable there, the RCA cable. That's the video out from the camera. So everything is traveling through the Ethernet cable. That means all you need is that Ethernet cable in order to make this thing function. Now, you need one, you know, 110, 120 for the friggin' camera itself that you can see plugged in on the wall behind it. This works pretty good, man. I want to put these up on poles and do some remote uh, uh, videoing. So this is it now. It's going to come around one more time. And then I'm going to cut this thing into a bunch of small clips so that uh, we can list these individually on eBay. But I'm going to make one long one. Now this is the controller. Check this out, man. Pan, tilt, and zoom. That's what those buttons are for. Now you're looking at the bottom, there's your Ethernet cable that goes in. You've got power. There are two power connectors in that are different sizes. They're polarized so that you can't stick the 9 volt in the 5 volt. And the red one is the audio, the video out. So you've got a video out that goes to your monitors. I might show you that a little bit later in this clip. Then you've got 9 volt power and 12 volt power. The 12 volt powers, come on, you guys know it, it powers the pan and tilt. The 5 volt power powers the lens. So three switches, pan, tilt, and zoom. All right, let's go crazy, okay? Let's suppose you had two of these cameras because I only have like 25 of them. Yeah, I'm building something. I don't know what I'm building. But this is like for two separate cameras. I only, I only needed the same two 9, and, I mean 12 and 5 volt power sources. You're going to see those in a minute. Each Ethernet cable goes to a separate camera. You can run 300 feet of cable or 1,000 foot of cable. Because that 9 and the 5 volts goes through the Ethernet cable and powers the pan and tilt and the, 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 the zoom lens. The zoom lens has an autofocus. You guys should know this if you know on this camera. So all you need is an Ethernet cable to the camera itself like you're going to see. And you're going to need 120. Alright, so what, what am I doing here? Where did I go? Very good. There's a pan and tilt base. See those three connectors on the side? That's right. One is a spare one. I engineered some things here, man. I got other things going. But one is for the, the, the zoom lens, and the other one is for the audio, the video feed from the back of the camera itself. And this is one so that I got one for... What the hell am I doing here? I'm over-engineering, man. I got cables that will loop. I got, I got things going on here. I can put one cable in here and then loop it to another one of these pan and tilts, and it will trans... Oh, my God, man. So this is cool. They're just standard ones that I rebuilt. I had to rebuild these suckers for my purpose. They're going to be expensive. So if you're looking for a tool, you're going to see what this tool does. Then you're going to like this. If you're not, you're going to be stuck with this thing. Oh my god, there is no controller for these things. Those CR12s are trash. Oh my god, they're trash. You cannot pan and tilt them. And you can't zoom in the same time. This thing you can pan, tilt, and zoom all at once. Now what am I got? Here's the lens. So I had to re-engineer this lens. I rewired it. And that's what that cable is there for. You'll be seeing this in a minute. So it says AF autofocus. Come on, hold that still. So that's it. It just plugs on. So the more of these you have. I think I have 13 of these that I rewired. I don't know. I'm crazy. I want to put a whole bunch of cameras up someplace. I'm going to make a friggin' movie, a 12 camera shot, shoot. All right, so you guys know what this is. I'm going to break this up into smaller videos.
Hook the end of that plug, plugs into the bottom of that pan and tilt base, and that's your zoom. All done. Plug and play. Pretty good. I'm liking it. Come on, go put that down. All right, so what are we going to do now? What do we got? Let's put a monitor up. Oh, this is all the cable you need. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how this works. It's going to work cool, too, man. I hooked a thousand foot Ethernet cable on this thing and made it work. So you're gonna need this, aren't you? You got to get the video from the uh, from the little remote, the little um, controller with the three switches on it. You're gonna and then look at there's your power sources. I'm the baddest guy. Okay, so these power sources, one's not one's 12 volt and one's 5 volt. And the ends of the cables are different sizes, so you can accidentally plug the 5 into the 12. Won't happen. Can't happen. So, cool. There we go. Remember, the red one is your video out for each camera. So, the. Um, and twist that thing. Cheer him on, you guys. He's a little slow. He can do it. I'm telling you, man. That's all it takes. I wasn't going to put two cameras up on the counter. That's all it takes, man, right there. Can't get them wrong, man. They're different sizes, so you can't accidentally blow the friggin'. You can't put... 12 volts into the lens and you can't put 5 volts into the pan and tilt and underpower it. Cool, that's all it takes. So now I got a monitor, I got a little LCD TV back there behind it. Yeah, that's right. Ethernet. Just plug that sucker in, will you? Very good. This guy's good, man. I'm a I'd hire him. So, so from your table, wherever you're at, you can have your monitor right there or your computer, plug it in to your recording device, whether it's a pinnacle something or other, video capture cards, whatever. So that's it, man. Look at that. That's pa supplying power to the pan and tilt from that unit, and it's also power to the lens, and it's the, the video output. This is an all-in-one unit. Come on, man. We've been, oh, we've only been on this for five minutes. That's pretty good. All right. What, what is it going to do? I hate this because the surface on my, my countertop is real slick. So first got to figure out which one of the right roll buttons. Yeah, you got to switch stuff around. Wrong, wrong row. There you go. Pan, pan. Show me tilt. No, that was tilt. Show me pan. Wrong, that's a lens. That button's a lens. Easy, dog. Okay, the base is just going to spin underneath it because the counter is so slick. So cool. <clears throat> All right, if you guys know these cameras, then you know what you want to do with it. Move this guy on, huh? Now what?
Now I'm just switching it over. We've moved the video and the Ethernet over. Impressive. Okay. Somebody say thank you very much. Okay, now this controller's got lit buttons on it. Special, special. They were expensive. I was just messing around. I don't want to get stuck at a monitoring table in the dark and not see those buttons, those lights. Because usually it's pretty, if you know, what you're, you know what I'm talking about, you're working in a dark area, you're looking at your monitor, and I needed those. I like those buttons. Those are good. Those are expensive. You want those? You gotta say so. Cool. They're really bright. But you need that if you're sitting at a table and you. I did a couple of weddings. Did a five camera shoot at a wedding. It was pretty cool. I could sit at one table and just work these remotes. I was a bomb, man. I, I can do some things with this stuff. But I moved up to HD cameras, man. You need HD cameras everywhere. Okay, now this controller has got the lit buttons. They don't all have lit buttons. I was messing around. And I think I spent $26 on every one of those lighted buttons. Oh, my God. You want lighted buttons? It's going to cost you. The other ones are just regular old six or eight pole double throw who knows what I'm liking that one though I made that one for Teresa Six dollars a switch. <laughs> the regular like thirteen ninety fourteen bucks. Cool. 